devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. So what do you say? Hello you sexy biscuits and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today, I wanted to go over a few important topics about Kingdom Come. We are going to start today with performance. It's one of the most talked about topics I see in my comment section. I am going to tell you the best settings for this game. These are what I've used with my i5-4460 and GTX 1050 Ti. These settings are what you see in every single video that I do. Go to your advanced graphic settings. Change object quality to medium. Game effect to low, lighting to medium, particles to low, and physics to medium. This is apparently one of the most demanding settings, so I would definitely bump down physics, and if you're still having problems, maybe bump that down to low. That's not really going to interfere with how good the game looks. Change post-processing to medium, shader quality to low. This personally, in my experience, has been the biggest performance killer, so I normally knock this down a, quite a bit and it doesn't really affect the quality of the game. Set shadows to medium. Now, if you have a graphics card with more than four gigs of RAM, you could probably bump this up a little bit, but this does use a lot of GPU, so I highly recommend knocking it down to medium. Set textures to medium or high, depending on what VRAM you have. Water details can be set to low. Personally, I think it looks great either way. It doesn't really affect anything. I think that the water looks beautiful and it's even in some of the pictures that I've taken on Twitter. Volumetric effects detail to low, vegetation detail to low. Now with distances, this is completely up to you. I personally have mine maxed out, but if you want to get the best out of your performance, I would recommend lowering the. The most important thing that I found that worked for me was disabling vSync. Since I think patch 1.3, we've had the option to turn off VSync. But if you haven't updated the game for some reason, you can follow the guide that's been up on the screen this entire time. So make sure to pause and do that. And the last thing is improving RAM usage. Depending on how much RAM you want the game to use, you can set how much RAM the game uses in your Steam launch options. This I'm guessing would also go for good old games as well. Hey, what are you doing here? What? Clear off quick, or I'll throw you out. Wh why? I'm just in here to get some stock footage of the uh, Sassau Church, is that okay with you? Get going. Are you kidding me right now? L look, I'm just looking at your lovely artwork. Why is there a dead body in here? Help! Over there! What? Ah, uh, you're gonna blame the dead body on me, aren't you? This was all a trap. I will leave a link in the description for a gaming scan where I found this. This is the guide that I used. So I highly recommend going on their website and going through everything again, just to make sure you have everything okay. This should definitely give you a performance boost and the game will still look great. Hey you, halt! What? Uh oh. Surrender! You've committed a violation. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> For what? For looking at art? Look, I'm just here to record a video, okay? I, I literally need some footage of Sasao. I'm on a mission from God, don't you know? Well, I thought that is... I had no idea. No, 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 no. You go first. I insist. Right, wait for no one to be around so I can do this silently. Come here, you bastard. Come on. Get... Oh, crap. Bloody hell. It's that same guy. Oi, come back here. Of course, Warhorse Studios is still working on performance, and this will obviously get better over time, but this is something that I've seen so many people comment about. I wanted to let you know. The last thing I wanted to talk about today was Warhorse is going to be at E3. Warhorse posted a message on their Twitter for different media attending E3. Now, this doesn't interest us, I suppose, but it does show some interesting things. We are showcasing the From the Ashes DLC and the free hardcore mode that turns KCD into a true survival RPG. You don't want to miss that. They also posted with this a picture. This shows the hardcore mode. The first thing that we notice here is that the combat markers are gone. There are no more combat markers showing when the perfect block is. Now, personally, I play without the HUD anyway, so this is how I've been playing the entire time. It's quite cool how quickly you can get used to this, and it really does immerse you in the game a lot more. As well as this, another picture did get released on Twitter. This was posted by the brilliant Sir Toby. You survived. Medieval life is full of uncertainty and woes. Spring gives away to winter and the years have borne away your carefree youth. 
Neither have you escaped the blows of fate like every man judged by God. You too have your cross to bear. Select at least two negative perks that will stay with you for the whole game. You've picked Numbskull. Your mother dropped you on the head as a baby. She kissed it better and the bump soon faded. But ever since then, you're a little slow at getting the hang of things. This slightly lowers your acquisition of experience. So what we can see here is that basically you have to pick two perks at the start of the game. Now these perks will be negative. They will be negative perks against you, constantly working against you in the game. And I love this idea. It really reminds me at the start of Fallout New Vegas where you have to pick your perks and there are a couple there that will end up hindering you. So I absolutely love this. This DLC should be released soon after E3 and I will be keeping all of you updated as well as trying to get some gameplay of From the Ashes. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. I do Twitch now, so please go follow me on Twitch. I am trying to become a Twitch affiliate and I need your help to be able to do that. I have really bumped up the quality of my streams. I'm now using Streamlabs and also Restream. So I'm streaming to YouTube and Twitch and I've got these amazing new gifts that come up when people follow me. I'm so excited to test it out and show you guys. Also, I have a Patreon. I would be so, so grateful if you could help me out. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.